Plans to force young people to take the vaccine are discriminatory, immoral and infringe on our liberty. Young people have given up so much over the last 18 months for a disease which, let's be honest, barely affects them. Almost no under 30s have died of COVID without comorbidities. It's a disease, whatever people say, which is discriminatory and affects almost entirely older people. Despite that, young people have given up so many opportunities over the last 18 months, all for the sake of their parents, their grandparents and older people that they know. You shouldn't be punishing young people for wanting to have fun. There have been so many huge opportunities that young people have given up. If you were established when lockdown began, if you had a family, a garden, a happy working life, then lockdown didn't affect you that much. If you're about to go through all these huge milestones from school graduation proms, real graduation, starting your first job, meeting your first colleagues, all of these things young people have given up. And of course, all the opportunities to see their friends, which matters a lot if you don't have a family sitting at home. The vast majority of young people have already been vaccinated. There are all sorts of reasons why young people would want to get the vaccine, to protect themselves from long COVID, to protect their friends, their family and other old people that they know. But there's a small minority who haven't for all sorts of reasons and they're well within their rights to do so. Punishing them now is completely illogical just when we're at the turning point of this disease and just when young people are beginning to have the fun that they've missed out on for so long. We've seen before the government's desire to shift the blame for the pandemic onto the population. The Protect the NHS slogan was all about, well, if this goes wrong, it's your fault, not ours. Now we're seeing exactly the same thing with vaccine passports. Young people are being told, if you don't get the vaccine passport, then we're in for another lockdown. That's not true. If everything goes wrong and we end up with another lockdown, it won't be the fault of young people. It'll be the fault of this virus and the government for not controlling it better right at the beginning. There's also a problem with slippery slopes. At the moment, we're very lucky to live in a free society where we're never asked for our papers to prove anything. If we introduce these vaccine passports, where on earth is it going to end? Are we going to have to produce passports to show that our carbon footprint is low enough to be allowed into a car or to be allowed to fly? It's hard to know. We all know that old people are prioritised every time the government does anything at all because old people turn out to vote. Young people often don't, and that's why they're deliberately neglected by this government. But this is more than neglect. This is discrimination, and it isn't fair on the young people who've done so much already to prevent the spread of this virus.